Greetings, dear friends. It's indeed a pleasure to be back and doing yet another video for you. And before I go further into this particular video, I actually have two questions for you. So the first one is that, are you from any of the following countries? Rwanda, South Africa, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. The second question is, are you working in programs that are supporting women's economic empowerment or involvement into agribusiness or agriculture? Or are you a woman who is actually into agribusiness from the countries I just mentioned? If the answer to the two questions is actually yes, then the video that we are just about to begin is for you. And just in case this information does not resonate with you and you do know somebody that has a yes to each of the questions I just posed, you will do well to actually share this video with them. And so, before I go any further, I would like to thank all those that have already subscribed to our YouTube channel. Thank you for your enormous support. For those that are coming here for the first time, we are glad to actually have you on this channel. On this channel, I am your host, Dr. Brian Myla, a medical doctor by profession specialized in psychiatry. And on this channel, we actually share opportunities that are available in terms of education and professional development in different parts of the world. And so if such information resonates with you or aligns with your career and professional goals, then you do well to actually stick around and become part of the BMIK TV community. And once you subscribed, go a step further and hit that bell icon, selecting all notifications so that future videos are uploaded and you will be among us the first few to be notified when such a thing happens. And so without further ado, I will be talking about the Professional Fellows Program advancing young women in agri-business. So we'll basically try to understand what this program is all about, who funds this program, and who can apply for this program. And, you know, how long is this program and where does it actually take place? And so to basically start, you can actually see that we are on the web website for Michigan State University International Studies and Program Alliance for African Partnership. And on here, it's highlighted that Professional Fellows Program Advancing Young Women in Agribusiness. You can actually see different logos here, which shows that this program is actually being run in a form of partnership. And so let's dive deeper into looking at this particular uh, program. So Eastern Southern African Agricultural Entrepreneurs, Michigan State University and external partners connect through the Professional Fellows Program, advancing young women agribusiness entrepreneurs and innovators, a program that is funded by the US Department of State Bureau of Educational and Cultural Affairs. And so this program is administered by Michigan State University, University of Rwanda in Rwanda, University of Pretoria, South Africa, University of Zambia in Zambia, and Chinoy University of Technology in Zimbabwe. The goal of the program is to build fellows capacity and skills in agro-entrepreneurship and agri-food system innovation and advance their ability to support women's economic empowerment. Rwandan, South African, Zambian, and Zimbabwean fellows 
will develop their leadership capacity and professional skills through a fully funded five-week fellowship program in the United States. The U.S. program will include a four-week professional placement with Michigan organizations focused on agriculture, innovation, agro-entrepreneurship, and women's empowerment, and additional seminars and trainings with professionals from Michigan State University and throughout the state of Michigan. In the final week of the program, fellows will travel to Washington, D.C. to participate in the Professional Fellows Congress, where they will network with program participants from around the world. Upon returning home, fellows will implement a community-based project with support from the program team and select US fellows chosen from <clears throat> Michigan state host organizations who will travel to Eastern Southern Africa on a reciprocal exchange uh, program. Now, <clears throat> in terms of applying to the program, they are saying here that we are recruiting young Rwandan, South African, Zimbabwean, and Zambian professionals from diverse backgrounds in private, public, non-governmental, and educational sectors who are either women and business entrepreneurs or <clears throat> individuals working to increase women's economic engagement in the agricultural sector. So when it comes to deadlines, one thing that you need to take note is that the program will run in two different cohorts. So the first cohort, we will have their program run this year in the fall semester 2023. Whereas the second cohort will have their program run next year in the spring semester, that is 2024. And in terms of application process, application opens on January 13, 2023 and the deadline for applying is that applications need to have been received by February 2024 20 by February 24 2023 and the time has been highlighted there 11 59 p.m eastern standard time in terms of the program tentative dates uh, the fall semester will run from September 2 to October 6, 2023. Whilst the spring 2024 semester will run from May, May to June 2024. Actual dates are yet to actually be confirmed. Now, who should apply for this particular program? They're saying women entrepreneurs, social innovators, or small and medium business owners or managers and other leaders working in the agriculture and food sectors, individuals of any gender in civil society and NGOs working on programs that support women in agriculture and food sectors in their respective countries, policymakers, ministry employees, and others in the public sector of any gender focused on supporting and improving opportunities for women in the agriculture or food sector academic staff of any gender who are implementing programs to impact advancing women in the agriculture and food sectors. When it comes to eligibility requirements, we can actually see here that one needs to be between the ages of 25 to 40 years of, uh, of age, and they need to be citizens or nationals or permanent residents of actually Rwanda, South Africa, Zambia and Zimbabwe and they need to be living and working in these particular countries. They need to be proficient in spoken and written English. They need to have an experience of two years professional or working experience in their field. They need to demonstrate leadership and the collaborative skills and the commitment to community. The other criteria are such that they need to has employer support. They need to have employer support for participating in the program. So for those not self-employed, for those self-employed, they need to get a recommendation from the local authorities at the district, county, or community levels. 
And the other aspects are that there is need to be interest in having a reciprocal program with American participants coming to work with you in your country. And there has to be a preference will be given to those who are in area states of their careers. So those who are just beginning their careers will be given preferential acceptance. And so <clears throat> preference also will be given to applicants who have not previously had the opportunity to travel to the United States. And so other information that you might want to read here is basically for individuals who are not eligible for the program. And this is information which you can read at your own time. Now, in case you do have questions about the program, they highlight on here to say that, that for more information about the program, please contact, you know, if you are trying to find out information, you know, from Michigan State University, that's a contact person there. And specific to Zambia, that's a contact person. Uh, Zimbabwe, there is a contact person. And Rwanda has got that contact person. And South Africa has got that contact uh, person. And so you can see here that they have highlighted the deadline. Now, if you do want to apply to this program, you can simply come here on the apply for the program. And not to worry, I will be able to actually give you links to these pages so that you can actually go through them at your own time and then begin to look into applying to this particular uh, program at your own time after doing your own research. And so if you click this apply to the program, you will basically be brought to this uh, you know, Google form, which has got uh, information about the program. And then it also highlights what you need to submit for you to apply. So you can see here that uh, Complete all the questions in this application in English and include the following additional items in your application package, which can be uploaded at the end of this online application. So application has actually been made easy, my friends. You actually don't need to pay anything for you to apply to this particular program. So you can see here that uh, you have to have a one-page resume and then the second requirement is that you need to have a one-page statement of interest, set statement of purpose, and that statement of purpose should basically highlight why are you applying for this program? What do you hope to learn? And how will you use the experience that you gain from the program upon your return to your home country? And then letter of reference, okay? so. You need to get a letter of reference from your current employer verifying their support for your participation in the program if applicable. And if you are self-employed, you need to get a letter of recommendation from your local authorities at the district or community levels. And then you need to submit a scanned copy of a government-issued ID that indicates your citizenship and death debt. So those are the additional requirements that you need to attach in your application package as you complete this uh, application document. So you can actually see the application document is at 0% completion uh, for me here. But when you click next page, you will actually see that there are some questions that actually come up. So you need to answer these questions from which country are you applying? Are you a US citizen or permanent resident of the resident of the United States? That would be a no. And then are you the spouse of a US citizen? You know, things like that. And once you have filled that, you go to next and it will keep showing how much completion in terms of filling that particular, you know, application document. So that's just like a Google form which you have to complete for you to be able to apply for this particular 
opportunity. And then at the same time, submit those attachments which I've spoken to you about. So that's it, dear friends, for this particular opportunity. And so if you did like this particular video, you will do well to actually, you know, give this video a thumbs up and please share it widely, circulate it widely to individuals that are in Rwanda, South Africa, Zambia, Zimbabwe, that are working in the agricultural sector, that are working to empower women, to involve women in agribusiness or in agriculture. So share it widely, friends, so that more people can actually, you know, apply for this particular opportunity. Otherwise, for now, I would like to simply say thank you very much for watching this video. And if you have not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe and become part of our community. And once you have subscribed, go ahead and hit that bell icon so that when we upload videos of this nature next time, you will be among us the first few to be notified. For now, I would like to simply say, Thank you so much for your support. And indeed, thank you so much for watching this particular video. For now, it's bye-bye until we meet next time.